Fasten your doublets and hitch up your hose, dear reader, for we are about to embark on a journey back in time to the enchanting world of medieval England. Our destination, a bustling tavern, the throbbing heart of any village or town. Forget your modern-day gastropubs and fancy restaurants, for we are about to experience a feast like no other. Prepare yourself for hearty fare, frothy ale, and a glimpse into a world where life revolved around the warmth of the hearth and the camaraderie of the common table. Imagine stepping through a low timbered doorway, the sound of laughter and boisterous conversation washing over you. The air is thick with the aroma of roasting meat, wood smoke, and yes, perhaps a hint of something less fragrant. But do not let that deter you, for within these walls lies a feast for the senses and a journey into the soul of medieval life. Our journey will take us through crowded common rooms, past overflowing tankards and platters piled high with rustic fare. We will rub shoulders with weary travelers, boisterous locals, and perhaps even a wandering minstrel or two. So, come, dear reader, and let us raise a tankard to the past as we uncover the secrets of the medieval tavern. No visit to a medieval tavern would be complete without partaking in its most abundant offering ale. Forget your fancy wines and distilled spirits, for in the medieval world ale was king. Brewed from barley, yeast, and water, ale was the drink of the common man, woman, and child. Ale was more than just a drink in medieval England, it was a way of life. It was consumed at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, quenching thirst and providing essential nutrients. And let us not forget beer, a later arrival to the scene but no less important. Brewed with hops, beer offered a slightly bitter edge to its milder cousin. So raise your tankards, dear readers, and let us toast to the humble ale, the lifeblood of the medieval tavern. The medieval tavern was not a place for the faint of heart or the weak of stomach. Imagine, if you will, a dimly lit space, smoke curling lazily from the central hearth, casting dancing shadows on the rough-hewn walls. The air is alive with a symphony of sound, the clatter of pewter tankards, the raucous laughter of men deep in their cups, the rhythmic twanging of a lute as a lone minstrel spins tales of love and chivalry. Benches and tables worn smooth by years of constant use are crammed together, forcing patrons to share their space and their stories. Privacy is a luxury few can afford, and besides, who needs it when surrounded by such lively company? The floor, often strewn with rushes, sawdust or worse, provides a precarious footing, especially after a long night of revelry. Yet despite the lack of modern amenities, the medieval tavern exuded a certain warmth, a sense of community that transcended its rough exterior. It was a place where social barriers were lowered, where a peasant could rub shoulders with a merchant, and where the weight of the world could be momentarily forgotten over a pint of ale and a shared laugh. Food. Glorious food. The heart of any tavern was its kitchen where cooks toiled over open fires conjuring up delights from basic ingredients. Medieval cuisine was all about simplicity and substance. Meat, bread and seasonal vegetables formed the backbone of most tavern meals. Think steaming bowls of pottage or trenchers of bread, soaking up the meal's juices. For those with more coin, there were pies, roasted fowl and perhaps a joint of beef or pork. These meals were a testament to the communal spirit of the tavern where sharing food and drink went hand in hand with sharing stories and laughter. As the embers in the hearth dwindle and the last dregs of ale are drained, we must bid farewell to the sights, sounds and smells of the medieval tavern. But before we return to our own time, let us take a moment to appreciate the vital role these establishments played in the lives of medieval folk. More than just places to eat, drink, and be merry, taverns were the social hubs of their day. They served as meeting places for local guilds and councils, provided lodging for weary travelers, and even hosted the occasional traveling play or musical performance. In an age before mass communication, taverns were where news was disseminated, rumors were spread, and gossip was exchanged. So the next time you find yourself in a bustling pub or cozy bar, take a moment to remember its medieval ancestors. Imagine the clatter of tankards, the murmur of conversation, the warmth of the hearth, and the spirit of camaraderie that permeated these ancient watering holes. For in the heart of every pub, there lies a whisper of the medieval tavern, a reminder of a time when life was simpler, ale was king, and every stranger was a potential friend waiting to be made over a shared tankard and a hearty meal.